Have you ever felt down and used music as a way to cope or embrace your emotions? Our group has observed this habit from both ourselves and people around us throughout our lives. Music has always been associated with our feelings. There's a certain kind of music you listen to when you're happy, and there's another kind you listen to when you're sad. Another way music is commonly used is in sports. Athletes listen to music during practice, and music is played when introducing wrestlers and baseball players. Through our research and experiences, we observe that athletes commonly feel unmotivated before a game or during practice, either due to anxiety or feeling down for any reason. Our group became interested in the relationship between music and athletes' emotions and conducted research on the different aspects of music and how they affect heart rate and motivation. There was a lack of compositions catered to athletes, so we decided to engineer a song that combined aspects of music associated with increased heart rate and motivation for our school's very own basketball team. Our group has always been avid supporters of our team, so we knew that we wanted to dedicate our Capstone project to them. To start off our song, we initially surveyed our basketball team on their preferences regarding music. We used that data to formulate what our song would sound like in order to cater to what they favor. Then, we started to spend class time in our school's music room and played around with instruments to see what sounds good and what doesn't. As we narrowed down the sounds we wanted to incorporate, we made a song outline which consisted of musical components like tempo, rhythm, intensity, and melody. We did this by finding out the most effective aspects of music with regards to hyping a person up. With regard to the actual design, we started with determining a song key. Next, we wrote a chord progression that fits the feeling we want to create. A chord progression is essential to the foundation of a song, so we needed to make one, and we used a live piano along with computer software FL Studio in order to do this. After this, we made numerous count counter melodies to go along with the chord progression so that the music doesn't get repetitive and boring. We utilized the school band along with digital and analog sy synthesizers. We then recorded texture and foley sounds from around our school. Doing this added ambience and life to the music. Lastly, we added live and digital drums onto the melody to create rhythm and bounce. In order to test the effectiveness of our song, we analyzed both changes in heart rate and the emotional impact of the music on the basketball players. We used a heart rate monitor and measured heart rate before listening to the song and during. We used a voluntary sample of 10 basketball players. Another way we tested our effectiveness was by making a questionnaire that asked them about how they felt when listening to the song. We listed a range of emotions for the basketball players to rate from a scale of 1 to 10 when listening to the song. From testing our initial design, we found that it was ineffective due to the lack of lyrics. There were also feelings of calmness and a downward trend of heart rate stimulated by the song, according to our data, which is the opposite of what we wanted. We figured that the song did not evoke enough tension or alertness to increase the players' heart rates. A majority of the players recommended lyrics as a change for our next design, so we took these recommendations and made changes to the song. To incorporate lyrics, we referred to the first survey we put out and used data on the basketball players' preferred artists and genres and found an acapella that would satisfy these preferences. We also added more textures and emphasized the drums to make the song a little more upbeat. We tested once again with the basketball players with our second song with the changes. Here are the results from the survey. Regarding happiness, the players tended to rate both versions on the higher end. However, the second version attracted more players to rate the song much higher than they did for the initial one, shown by the high number of players rating it a 9. Regarding alertness, the players also tended to rate the second version much higher. As shown by the high number of players rating the second version from 7 to 10, lyrics played a large role in increasing alertness for the players. Lastly, regarding the player's personal opinion of how effectively the song induces motivation, there was a huge change in those who thought it would be effective. To put it in perspective, the average rating jumped from 6.1 to 8.6, and the variation narrowed to the higher up numbers for the second version. The player's heart rate increased an average of 12.1 beats per minute from before listening to the second version to during, as shown in the graph. In order to figure out whether the changes in heart rate were statistically significant, we consulted our AP statistics teacher, Mr. Dees, for help with running a t-test. Through this, we found a statistically significant difference in players' heart rate changes. In conclusion, we found that our musical composition was able to induce the feelings that we initially had hoped for, meaning that our song was successful. However, there were many limitations to our project. In order to make results more accurate, the sample size must be increased and the sample must be taken randomly. To further the findings made in our project, one could create more musical compositions or even find another way to increase motivation in athletes other than music. One could also go outside sports and find ways to increase motivation in other settings.